I want to talk about how this generalizes to bigger matrices. And um, there should be no surprise here. So let's say A is an M by N matrix. And B is um, uh, an N by P matrix. Remember this means a has M rows and N columns, B has N rows and P columns. Um, so let's let's pick particular values just to, to save our sanity. Let's say M is 2, N is 3, and P is 4. Okay, so um, so A has two columns and three, sorry, two rows and three columns. And B has three rows and four columns. Whoops. So I've just got it wrong. The indices here that I'm writing, the subscripts, the first one tells you which row you're in, the second one tells you which column you're in. So this is row 1, column 2, row 1, column 3, row 1, column 4. Row 2, column 3. And I apologize if it, in advance if I say row when I mean column because I do it literally all the time. to four. Okay. So big matrices. I claim that there's an obvious way to define matrix multiplication now, given everything we've seen so far, which is to get the top left entry in the result a b we're going to multiply the top row of a into the leftmost column of b and we're going to get a11 b11 plus a12 b21 plus a13 b31 and we get that here and then to get the second entry uh, we're going to multiply the top row into the second column and then to get the third entry we're going to multiply the top row into the third column and then to get the fourth entry we're going to multiply the top row into the fourth column so whatever the result is it's going to have four columns and it's also going to have two rows right because we can also do all of this with the second row of a right so we can multiply the second row of a into the four columns and we're going to get four more entries and to save everybody sanity, I'm not going to write them out. So the result then is a 2 by 4 matrix. And in general, AB, if A is M by N and B is N by P, AB is um, an M by P matrix. Right? Just in exactly the same way. There's one row of AB for every row of A, and there's one column of AB for every column of B. What happens, you may ask, if um, this N is different, right? If this one is a particular value of N, this is a, if this were a different number rather than N, what would happen? Let's get a new page and try and multiply together two matrices for which 
those ends are not the same. So let's suppose A is 2 by 2 and B is um, I don't know, the first number is something other than 2, maybe uh, 1 by 2. So what's a 1 by 2 matrix? It's got one row and two columns. So B is something like this. Uh, and this is 2 by 2. What happens if we try and multiply these together? Well, as soon as you try, you fail, right? Because you start working across the top row of A. Ah, this column is not high enough, right? This has two things to multiply into this column, but there's only one thing in the column. So we can't just multiply the column, uh, the, the row into the column. It doesn't work. It's undefined. Just we haven't given a definition of what matrix multiplication means in this case, and we can't. It literally doesn't make any sense. And of course, that is perfectly sensible because A in this case, oh, well, yeah, it's it's a map from R two to R two. Uh, and B is a map from R two to R. right because b11 one, one, b12 one, it needs to eat a, a vector of height 2 and it's going to output a vector of height 1 which is just a number so that's b11x one, one, plus b12y one, just a one by one matrix um so ab is supposed to be what happens if you do b followed by a so that's supposed to go from R2 to R along B and then well you can't go any further right because A is supposed to go from R2 to R2 doesn't make any sense because we're already in R rather than R2 of course the other product would make sense right BA that makes sense because then you're doing 1 by 2 2 by 2 and the twos match up so that would make sense and that's because you can compose maps r2 to r2 and then r2 to r this is the map ba okay so if you're trying to multiply two matrices and you hit this problem it means that you're maybe trying to multiply them in the wrong order or maybe you've got the wrong matrices so we're going to finish with an exercise. I'm going to write some matrices down. You're going to try and multiply them. You know, pause the video, multiply them. And then... Okay, so here are the four matrices I want you to try and multiply together, as in the four products I want you to try and compute. Um, do as many as you feel like. Um, pause the video. And we're back. So... Um, I'll just tell you the answers. Uh, this is Z, X, Y. This is 0, 0, and then minus 5 halves and 3. So I've mostly been writing matrices with integers as entries just because of laziness of course the entries don't have to be integers this is a rational number it could be anything it could be pi it could be e it could even if we were fe feeling you know excited for the day it could be an imaginary number it could be uh, a complex number it could be potentially even another matrix uh, if you are really getting frisky uh, anyway next one okay this is 
one by four matrix, four by one matrix. If we multiply this into this, there's only one thing we have to do. The result's going to be a one by one matrix, which I usually just write as a number, but let's write brackets around it. It's going to be one minus two uh, plus three minus four, which is uh, minus two. Right, minus four, minus six, minus six, plus three, and then plus one, yes, minus two. Okay, and this one, which looks very similar, but the matrices are the other way around, that makes a big difference because now I have four rows in the answer and four columns in the answer. So it's actually a big four by four matrix, and it's one times one, one times minus one, one times one, one times minus one. 2 times 1, 2 times minus 1, 2 times 1, 2 times minus 1, 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3, 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4. Okay, so you can see matrix multiplication really doesn't commute, right? This product gives us a 1 by 1 matrix, this product gives us a 4 by 4 matrix. So in the next video, we're going to look a little bit more at this notation I've been using, sort of A, I, J, where you write the entries of the matrix with these subscripts. This is called index notation. Uh, notation. And we're going to talk about some other operations you can do to matrices like adding them or even exponentiating them.